great way to start the morning. A very spacious porta potty that was recently maintained and does not smell like a privy and has toilet paper inside. And you don't have to use your own toilet paper. It's a very exciting day. Okay, good morning world. I think it's a great blue heron. Wow. <laughs> He's sitting right on top of the iron forge. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? <laughs> it's the second one flying around here too. This iron forge is perched on, it said, was used to make pots, kettles, skillets, and stoves. We are in Boiling Springs, Pennsylvania. Pretty here. Those geese were honking at me a minute ago, or at something, at their friends. What a lovely way to start out the day. Now he's got something to say. Good morning, little bunny. All the little animal friends are out this morning. Not so sure about me, are ya? Wee! <laughs> Back to breakfast. Oh, so cute. We're at the ATC's regional office. They're closed, but we apparently have a 14 mile stretch of trail with questionable water sources. So I gotta go get some water on the side of their building. Fuzzy yellow things. There's a gas station right there. You think they have coffee? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Coffee in hand. Best morning ever. You guys, y'all are holding up traffic. Did you look both ways before you crossed? You should. Look at that, no remorse. Good morning. A little too early for the outfitters. All right, back into the forest I go. Still with my coffee. There's honeysuckle all over this place. Oh my word. It smells delightful. Did I mention that we have a 22 mile day today? Long day, but it's supposed to be mostly flat with some crazy rocks coming in at the very end. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe it won't take as long as it usually does. <laughs> Pretty. Look how pretty it is here. 
coffee, honeysuckle, farmland, and deer. I am high on life right now. In Texas, we always had lots of fields like this along the highway on the way to Corpus Christi. And as you're driving at high speed past all this, I always used to think it looked like a man's really long legs running really fast as you passed. Anybody else? Just me? <laughs> Can I just say how much I'm loving the trail in Pennsylvania? Look at these cool barns. Look, you guys, this is not on the gut hooks. So I wouldn't even know it was here except you pass right by it. Look at these cool old tombstones. You can't read tons on them and it doesn't say anything too interesting when you can. Except this is the family um, of the Chambers and Yuri apparently. And these people died in the mid 1800s. Aren't they cool? If you look up there, you can see some little dark circles. It's a cherry tree up there. And look down here. There's all kinds of little cherries on the ground. Over here too, y'all see the little red things? And I got another one right here. Some of them are a little tart. But some of them are not bad. Mmm, who knew there were cherries on the AT, huh? I mean, look at this. And the birds are knocking them off the tree as I'm standing here. Any trucks today? Should we try it? Mm -hmm. Tutu, whee, we got one. Now we can proceed with our day. <laughs> you guys. Right up here, there was a deer with a tiny little baby fawn with spots. I already scared it away. I doubt we're going to see it again because these deer seem to be real scaredy cats, which is good. Oh, it's so cute. Where are you, baby deer? Come back. I think they're hiding. I love seeing houses with the laundry hung outside. I don't know why. Just neat. Look you guys, cow friends. Should we do it? They seem unconcerned. I guess this is a true dairy farm still. Bring your jugs. Look what they got a cow right there. There's some cows in the barn. I don't know if y'all can see them. There's one. This ought to be easy pickings. Okay. This is the AT today. Whee. Look y'all. Getting a real agricultural experience today. Just cutting the hay. How cool is that? Hello, Mr. Man. <laughs> Neat. Hello. And who do we have here? A cute little rat snake. Hey, bud. What's your name? I see her eyeball, you're not sleeping. He's not sticking out his tongue to taste me either. He's just a little statue. Is this a fake snake? Is this guy even real? Oh, there's the tongue. He is alive and he's checking me out now. Aw. All right, so since he's not moving, we're gonna see if we can scoot around him, I guess, without disturbing him. deer down there getting water. Look at this tiny little 
little bunny getting some water. Hey, cutie. Aww, little bunny. Aww, yeah, you got a little piece of grass. Aww. Good little nose. Hey. You're adorable. You're tiny. You're too little to be by yourself. Do you want to hop on my backpack? I'll take you for a ride. You can be my traveling companion. We can be Texan Bun Bun. Hmm? What do you think? He says, nope, I'm busy eating, thanks. Isn't this gorgeous? This might be one of my favorite days so far. It's pretty epic scenery. came out to this view because there was a comment in gut hooks that said there was a porcupine who is not afraid of humans that hangs out here but I see no porcupine then I double checked the comment and it was from 2019 so I guess he's moved out since then yeah I was really disappointed with the power lying view that was a couple miles back yeah that was not a great one This is Hawk Rock with a view of Duncan Inn. Very nice. Change of plans. We're doing a little more mileage than expected. I was originally gonna do 22 miles and stay at the last shelter. Kinda sad I'm not in the end because that's the one where they have a porcupine problem. And I would really love to see a porcupine in person. So that will turn today into at least a 26 mile day, I think. Once we find out where we're staying, we'll get the exact calculation. Welcome to Duncannon and excellent news. I had read that the Doyle is closed today, but Anvil passed a trail message down to me through a third party saying that he got a room there. And so I'm gonna see if they have any more availability. Sweet, that should be an experience. Here's the Doyle. I hear it's kind of a dive. Let's go see. Mmm, it already smells of cigarettes. Mmm, this cannot be a good sign. <laughs> okay, I got the lady to let me check out the room before I committed. When I told her I was torn between this and staying at the hostel at the outfitter, her response was, well, we're old and dumpy, but you'll have your own room. <laughs> and first impression, it smells like smoke. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Here's my room. Initial impressions, her explanation was accurate. We're gonna check the sheets and if they look clean, I think it'll do. <laughs> I mean, we've been sleeping on the ground, right? Hi oh, YouTube, I'm Charles. There you go, now you're in focus. Oh. Yeah, we met Charles the other day and yes. he's staying at the Doyle too, which makes me feel a lot better. Um, let's see if I can lock my door here. We're gonna go try to find Thumper at the Italian restaurant. We have a plan. It's classic right there. We have found Thumper, he's at this bar eating, but there's no windows and I find that a little depressing. 
So there's some other hikers over here at the pub, Firewalker and Lighter. So gonna eat here, I guess. Dinner is cheese fries with bacon, a beer, and oh my goodness, we've got a, wait, now that I am panning over to you, Firewalker! It's a hard one for me to remember. Uh, and Lighter. How I got the name Lighter was I just am constantly figuring out how to make my pack lighter. Yeah. All right, we're a little stiff after getting up. We had some good rocks today. That's to be expected. Now we're gonna go home and have a um, fantastic night's sleep at the Doyle. Just wait till you see the bathrooms. I gotta share that with you. All right, so here's what we're working with. Here's bathroom number one. That's the tub. Sink. Hmm. <laughs> Can you explain to me what that might be? Water damage. Oh, you think? Yeah. Huh. I've never seen that on plastic. I just now noticed that there's no way for me to close the curtains at night since they're so short. I've opted for all linens and pillows to remain on the floor and we've got a fitted sheet with my sleeping bag and pillow. And look at the quality of the wall above our bed. Is that just not appealing or what? <laughs> My goodness. Just for a little context, which I see I had left out in the earlier videos, the Doyle is, it has a good reputation for being a dive hotel. It is a historic hotel, but not very well maintained. However, hikers seem to enjoy it just for its charms. Usually there's a restaurant in the bar on the first floor, but it's closed today. The good news is tomorrow we have a, well, tomorrow's not gonna be very exciting, but tomorrow we have a pretty exciting secret to share. I'm gonna save that though until tomorrow morning, probably. So I'll leave you with this cliffhanger. Y'all have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow.